And what you're looking at here is a an old fluorescent street light that was used here in Melbourne uh, back in the 1970s through to the late 1980s. In fact, I think these lights even date back to the 60s. Um, they were utilised right up until the very late 1980s when mercury vapour replaced them. But this is a, an old um, tandem 20-watt uh, fluorescent street lamp, each tube 20 watts, so 40 watts in total, with an aluminium housing um, and acrylic diffuser, um, which I've had to polish up just to get the oxidation off um, because it had browned quite significantly through being exposed, obviously, to sunlight uh, over many years. But uh, I've just gone through, cleaned it up, and uh, it was absolutely filthy when I got it. Uh, I've actually got nine of these, um, which were uh, being used in country Victoria until fairly well, late-ish, um, when the rest of the state switched over to mercury vapour. So I've wired it up, I'm going to turn it on, and you'll actually see it work. For those of you that love the old magnetic reactive ballast, uh, it has one, and you can probably see the fluorescent starters there, which are, are looking rather brown, obviously through years of uh, work. Um, but we're going to flick this on. I've wired it up, and uh, let's see it uh, blink into life. Here we go. And there we go. Not too much of uh, the blinking, but... Um, there you have it. That's a uh, reactive ballast um, fluorescent street light, and that's working absolutely beautifully. Um, they were a very good light and uh, very reliable, I must admit. They were fantastic. Um, I remember these many years ago when I was growing up, and uh, these were the lights that were around. Quite a few of them actually got damaged and uh, weren't really sort of maintained. Um, and we're in pretty poor state, but luckily I've managed to fix this one up all right without too much of a hassle. And you can still buy spare parts of this too, which is surprising uh, given its age, but they're still manufactured even to this day for commercial use. Um, but here we go, I'll turn this off and we'll turn it back on again and see whether we can get it to blink. The old starters might be having a bit of difficulty. Mind you, they've been around for quite a few years, but I've got some new ones in the shed. There we go, that's a bit better. A bit more blink. It's very quiet, you don't hear any hum whatsoever. It's a single ballast that operates both tubes and uh, individual um, electrical systems, but within the, the one, uh, within the one ballast. Each has got its own starter, obviously. Um, but they're a very neat unit, put together beautifully. Uh, manufactured here in Australia, so... Hopefully you enjoy that and uh, I'll see what other posts I can put up soon.